Welcome to the Thin Film Fabrication Lab. The two systems we have in front of us are the two principal systems that we use to support our internal research needs for thin film fabrication. They are both commercial systems and they are very complementary in their technologies. Let's move on to the first one. This is a German made system. It's uh, labeled Cirrus Pro. It functions under the process of electron beam physical vapor deposition. If you want to get a closer look at the bottom, these are the targets. What we use in terms of materials for the targets are principally oxides of semiconductors and of metals. A popular configuration we use is tantalum oxide and silicon dioxide. During the deposition process, the chamber will be closed, it will be put in a vacuum environment, and the, tar the targets will be bombarded by electrons to initiate the vaporization process. And the vaporized material will slowly migrate upwards with the help of a magnetic field to be deposited, recondensed on the top. One of the main advantages of using two or more materials to deposit coatings is that you can build a co-deposition scheme composed of alternate layers of high and low refractive index materials. These are the principal building blocks to several complex components such as dielectric mirrors, dichroics, bandpass filters, high pass, low pass, and so forth. Finally, another important option we have embedded in this system is an optical monitor. We can measure the optical transmission in situ of the layers as they are being produced. Let's move on to the second system. This is a Canadian made system from the company Intelvac which is based in Toronto and it functions under the process of AC magnetron sputtering. If you want to get closer take a look at the four targets here. Now the difference between the former system is that the targets here will be composed of very high purity metals and semiconductors. A few examples, for instance, we use silicon as a semiconductor and we can use aluminum, niobium, tantalum as the metal. During the deposition process, the targets will be bombarded by an argon ion plasma to initiate the vaporization. And within the chamber, we can leave it in a vacuum mode or integrate either oxygen or nitrogen to, uh, uh, to enrich the process such that the final layers can be composed of either pure metals and semiconduct semiconductors. They can be composed of oxides, nitrides, and oxynitrides. Let's move on to a few examples of what we, uh, we can fabricate here. Soleiman. Soleiman is our research associate who is running these thin film facilities and he is holding a 9 inch diameter wafer with a dielectric mirror centered at 1064 nanometers. The mirror is composed of 24 alternate layers of niobium oxide and silicon dioxide. Another example of what he can produce. In this test right here, he was varying the oxygen to nitrogen input in the Intelvac chamber. And what, is produ what we can see here is, the di is a slight difference in the refractive index, the effective ref refractive index of the final coating. And we can deposit it, we can deposit on very small components also uh, we have uh, several mounts to input strands of optical fibers. If ever there are applications where you need to have a custom coating deposited on the tip of an optical fiber. In closing, these facilities greatly support our internal research needs. There are numerous cases where we need a custom mirror, a custom filter to be embedded in ex an experimental setup or inside a prototype that needs to be delivered to a partner. Please keep in mind, we are open for business. We have uh, several partnerships 
with uh, both academic and industry partners with to whom we supply on a regular basis custom components for their R&D and small batch production needs. If you, have it, if you have any needs you think we can help you with, please don't hesitate to contact us.